Ladies and gentlemen, we have another Generation Zero Resistance report, which is actually quite shocking. We did see one of these not too long ago, and that was at the back end of August, so two weeks ago. So very strange that we've um, we've seen two weeks in a row. Um, something must be going on. Maybe we've got a micro DLC to plug. I don't know. It's not in this one, but you never know. We could see something soon. This one is all about the August 2024 update, and that is coming to consoles. It's already come on to PC, as they did the public test branch. They got a load of stuff back from that and did a small update on the 20th of August. And as you can see here, it was a very small update. It was more of a hotfix than an update. It had four things on it. So we'd seen, what, two months of of the public test branch being open and four fixes despite the numerous crash issues that are still plaguing the game and various other bugs that people are not happy with these are the four things that have been fixed which is good that they are fixing things but it's not enough and especially when you consider the fact that just seven days later there was a hot fix to the update which contained four things and this bug fix slash hot fix had another four fixes in it so it's not looking good at the end of 2024 for Generation Zero. Then we did obviously see a resistance report, which was on the, uh, the 30th of August, so two weeks ago, um, which was pretty much a whole load of not much, as you can see. It was just a whole bunch of photos from those guys being away and a thank you for the public test branch. And then a very small hint that we might be getting an island, which... Don't get me wrong, an island would be great, but there are a lot of things that do need to be fixed as well. And it's good that we've seen another resistance report two weeks out from that first one. So that's good news, I suppose. But this is a small update that's going on to consoles, and it's it seems like they're running out of things to say on the resistance report. Um, it's a bit strange. I don't know what's going on with Generation Zero, but I don't think it's it's going to be the, the greatest. I think we're probably going to see the end of it. Uh, I said this last year, and yeah, I did say it last year. We got a couple of updates which were good, but we've we've seen, what, two major updates. And yeah, there's, it's not good. It's not the greatest. And I would have thought maybe we'd get some news on some form of Halloween event, maybe, whether they'd say that we'd be doing that yet. Obviously, we've still got a good six weeks to go until Halloween, so that's potentially three more resistance letters if they are keeping up with this timeline. We'll have to wait and see. I do hope that they do keep up with it and we see a change and uh, not even content, but just a couple of updates fixing things would be great. We'll have to wait and see if that's how they go. Um, I didn't realize how many issues there were, especially on PC and console. I don't have that many issues with it. But in my previous video, when I did go over the latest resistance report, there were a lot of comments, people saying that a lot of things need to be fixed. So that's fair enough. Appreciate the feedback there, guys, on that one. It's basically the usual little intro. Greetings, uh, survivors. The resistance report on a Thursday because Carney is away. So a little bit strange. Today's letter isn't going to be long. I just want to pad these with too much fluff if there isn't something to say. So let's get right to it. We've received tons of feedback about our last update released only on Steam so far. The majority of players are seeing increased frame rates, which is awesome. That's what we're hoping for. However, some players have experienced worse rates than before. We're looking into this and doing our best to make sure this update is an improvement for as many people as possible. For those on console and are wondering when they're getting the update, it will be coming out on consoles next week. So yes, it is the August update, but it is coming out in September. Um, so that's pretty cool we'll all see that tuesday or wednesday i'm assuming probably a, a wednesday maybe i don't even know if they'll do a stream i have to wait and see but you'll be getting all the improvements in the initial release on steam as well as those made with the hotfix so pretty cool i like that but he's having to set some expectations so that's not good saying you're gonna have to basically set some expectations means this update may have a lot of issues with it so sorry about that but it may have them in there. We're just pushing out an update for the sake of pushing out an update. In a nutshell, that's how I read that. However, other people may read that differently and be a little bit more optimistic about it. I'm not 100% sure though. So Generation Zero has been known to act a little bit erratically on consoles, especially older gen. Since this update is such a major overhaul of the asset rendering system in-game, it's possible new issues may pop up that we weren't able to test for. 
Our QA team is amazing and works very hard, but it's impossible to test every single feature and possibility in an open world game after making changes to a system that affects everything in it. Which, I do think that is fair enough. But there are small indie teams that get massive fixes out for games on the same sort of scale. Um, yeah, it, it, it's rough, man. I've played a lot of indie titles where issues come up and the team are they're putting updates out every week saying, yep, we're on that, yep, let's get that. It might only be one or two fixes, uh, but they've got it. I mean, look at End Night, look at Creepy Jar. You know, that they're just pushing shit out as often as they can to get fixes out there. It doesn't even have to be content, they're just fixing things. Especially when you bear in mind that this is a... It's, it's a AAA developer. Uh, well, it, it's owned by a AAA developer. It's not an indie studio. They've got a good amount of people in there. Systemic Reaction. The parent company is the Avalanche Studios Group. So they make some absolutely insane games. Mainly Just Cause. They've made Mad Max. They've made a couple of other ones. They've done some pretty cool games. But then they do continue on with the letter saying, For those reading on Steam, we're of course not only focused on consoles at the moment. We're following your reports and feedback and implementing fixments and improvements as we go along. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for reading today's Resistance Report. As a reward, I'll let you know in advance there'll be a screenshot contest starting next week. We haven't done one in a while, and we're looking forward to the submissions. So pretty cool. I like that. That's good. They used to do a lot of little contests. Their socials were, were pretty fire. There was a lot of good stuff on there. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on all the time. There was giveaways every now and then, which is good. They've always been really good with the socials and keeping their community chatting and everybody together, which is nice. It's a good feature of Systemic Reaction. But it seems like that has also taken a bit of a backseat recently. It's gone a lot slowly than what it was beforehand. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see where it goes from here. I do hope that things get better. We do see some more news. And this update does go well on consoles. But when it comes to crashes and stuff, it really feels like Generation Zero is split down the middle. There's a group of people that either don't get them or love the game so much that they don't care about any of the issues. And then there's the other side of, like, I love this game, but you've got to sort the shit out. Um, so, it, yeah, it's, it's strange. We'll have to wait and see what happens, though. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. For now, though, we are going to wrap that one up there. Hopefully, we have some more Generation Zero content coming soon. I do love Generation Zero, and I love when we get new things. There's a few things that I'd like to do. It's just sitting down and having the time. So I will try and get at least one GZ video out every week. I'm not too sure what day it'll be. It'll probably be on a Wednesday or a Thursday. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. For now, though, I've been wired. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.